Today's Tuesday. I didn't film anything yesterday because I was just slowly plugging away at this thing. It's coming along good. The swing open doors are definitely going to be something different on this, but I like it. So the next step on this is going to be to cut out this tube. I had the dragon mark out where the two front frame rails are going to land. So I'm going to cut it just outside of those. That way we can get the motor in here and then we'll do the engine braces or whatever up to the debris bars and then start working on the front half of the frame. motor in there we can start to see where everything's gonna lay out the customer wanted this cab to be 52 inches wide and this hood is only uh, 52 like outside to outside so what I'm gonna do at the front end is I'm gonna do the tube instead of going from this corner I'm gonna go from right about here out to like this point that way we can trim this corner of the hood off and still use this hood even though it's technically too narrow for this car and then from this point i ended up cutting that tube off that way we can stuff the motor in here i'm going to end up coming up from here and bend over to the debris bar kind of going around the engine and then i'm going to do a gusset from this point back to here and i'm going to do that on all four corners of the floor because i don't like dead tubes in the chassis so this point needs to connect to here there and then the front corners go from here to here and then the tube going up to here so i think i've got it pretty much figured out with these axles being super narrow, I had to bring the frame rails in because the shock is gonna be mounted right up under here. At full bump, the shock's gonna be at this angle way out here, but at full droop on this side, this shock's gonna come all the way in here. So I wanted to make sure I had enough room on the frame that I wasn't gonna hit it. So I just brought the frame rails in. And I think I'm just gonna narrow the grill to where the inside inside of the headlights are like that. So if I just cut it right down the center and just narrow it, I think that'll fit in there perfect. And then I'm not sure what I'm gonna do on this yet. I might end up trimming the hood along this line or just leave the corner, I'm not really sure yet. So still gonna decide on that, but so far I think all of that's gonna work out. So our motor mount's gonna come directly off of this and then I'm gonna do an engine skid on the bottom. So motor mount will go to here and then go down to the, the skid. But yeah, so far looking good, I like it. So keep plugging away at this thing. Another one of the many times this motor comes in and out. So got the motor back out now and I'm about to finish weld this chassis. All right, a little bit of a late start this morning. New haircut, who dis? Um, but yesterday I got the chassis all finished welded out. So like I talked about, added gusset tubes to all these corners. That way these tubes aren't dead tubes. And then added the transmission cross member. So I'm just going to do simple tabs going to the old mount that he had in the FJ and then start working on motor mounts.
got the motor weight on the chassis now. I did simple motor mounts and tied it into the chassis here and then did a tube up to that junction. Maybe do a tube bent down into this junction and then back up to the halfway point and then back down to here. And then the belly skid will tie into here and come down. And then I might do to that point up to here because I like all my tubes backed up by another tube. So we brought the front axle in here, got the rear axle in here, started mocking up the wheelbase and everything, trying to figure out where I'm gonna put the links. The This Curry front end is gonna be kind of interesting how I do the upper link mounts, but I'm gonna do a uh, upper link mount on this side that bolts into these holes and kind of hangs over the diff cover on this side. And then this side will just be built up up here Shock mounts are going to line up perfect to probably mount off a right in this area and come up and mount under here. I might end up taking this tube out. This tube isn't tacked or anything. It's just sitting in there. So I might end up building a shock mount. Building a shock mount in right here, doing a plate structure and then welding a tube inside the two shock mounts. Obviously leaving enough room with that tube in there to pull the motor out. But with mounting these shocks right in here and right about here, that'll give us the perfect angle and clearance on the frame at this point. So it's been a long week. It's about that time for Brewski. Um, did pretty decent on our list this week. Completed the chassis, welded the chassis, did the motor mounts, did the trans mount, ordered the carrier bearing from Wide Open Designs and they're super fast, it's already here. Uh, removed the axles from the FJ, stripped the axles. I uh, have not finished the side yard cover yet. I'm probably gonna do that this weekend, so we'll put that off. Um, ordered the Himes, he decided to go with Himes over Johnny Joints. And then we mocked up the axles. So this weekend I've got another chassis to cut out and do for a customer. So this is probably gonna end up being a pretty short video, but just wanted to give an update of everything we did this week. It's gonna be a lot of tedious design of all the bracketry and everything for this thing. So as always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys again next week. Keep it classy. Thank you.